Zcom is a biotech company focused on mass transfer as a unique way of drawing biologics. Anne Gidner, the CEO, is with me here to tell us all about it. Welcome. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, it's great. So please tell me, what is the core technology behind Zcom? We have uh, developed a technology for unique drying, uh, where we can turn liquid biologics into dry powder form. And we combine that with really clever formulation. So drug formulation and unique drying, that is the essence. And uh, how does uh, this uh, laminar pace differentiate itself from traditional drying methods? It's based on the principle of mass transfer, like you mentioned. So any other attempt to dry biologics, you would apply either spray drying with very high heat. That typically doesn't work at all for, for large, fragile molecules. Uh, or you would try lyophilization and then you have to freeze your product to minus 50 or 80. And that's also very harsh and stressful to the product. So we have a very gentle product and we achieve fantastic product quality then, avoiding freezing, avo avoiding heating. And uh, you have vaccines mm. and biologics, right? So what is your uh, focus and why you choose this focus? Yes, uh, we have proven performance for all modalities within biopharmaceuticals. So we can treat proteins, peptides, enzymes, antibodies, and several vaccine platforms. As a strategic focus, we are focusing on, on three specific vaccine platforms. One of them is based on mRNA, messenger RNA. And for that, we are also now going into therapeutics. So we are focusing very much on mRNA in LMP uh, for new therapies and for new vaccines. And this is a, the most fragile compound. It's also the highest value compound. So this is the top value for Zikum, and we have achieved amazing results there. That sounds mm. amazing. Mm. So um, what is the stage of development and what are the next major milestones? Uh, we are performing testing now. Each modality, each drug needs to be tested together with our technology to optimize. Uh, what the result you get and we are right now performing we have signed a number of deals with big pharma uh, with leading biotech corporations most recently we signed a deal with recode therapeutics and we are allowed to mention them we are very happy about that so right now Zikum is testing in our pilot facility we are testing the modalities to get the exact best uh, parameters for treating them uh, next stage will be further testing and next stage will be signing license deals. Uh, so we don't sell products and we don't sell service. Uh, we offer studies aiming at licensing. And you mentioned we already have some uh, partners and collaborations. Are they uh, European or uh, American? And which market are you planning to enter first? We target the international pharma industry. So these are typically multinational companies, right? Uh, but the head offices are very often American or it's Western Europe. Uh, very much of the mRNA research is done East Coast in the US. So we have quite a significant focus on the US market, uh, also on European sites within big pharma corporations. And uh, an important question, uh, why Zcom is a good business case for investors? Yeah, the potential is really enormous. I think our key challenge right now uh, in industry is very well received. Uh, the industry partners we discuss with, they can see this fantastic potential of applying this method because overall the cost savings are enormous and that will open up for completely new drugs. For investors, maybe it's more of a challenge to describe all the benefits we can achieve, uh, but the potential is very significant. Already the technical gains uh, we'll, we'll put this product on the market and then on top of that we will enable completely new drugs. Do you have it. any timeline for that? Absolutely. I think testing will go on maybe for, for another 12 months with, with some partners. Then they will be ready to proceed. Uh, we keep on adding new partners to our dialogue pipeline because it's very important in pharma. Uh, you have an attrition rate, right? Mm. Not all pharmaceutical projects survive all the way to the market. Unfortunately. Uh, and I have a lot of background in pipeline management that you have to build a broad pipeline. So we keep adding new partners and they, they will, of course, then need some time to reach the market. So it's an ongoing, continuous process. 
Uh, thank you so much for being with us here, here today, and I wish you best of luck. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.